Hey, welcome to another episode of Guitar Love. This is a video series where I pull out an instrument I've made over the last few years, check how it's holding up, dust it off, see how it looks, plays, and sounds. And this time around, it is the Ninja Warrior number no. five rhinestone electric guitar. Wow. If you follow me on my social media, you might recall that I made this guitar eight months ago. And I think it turned out, turned out absolutely amazing. Wow. And just some the brief spec specifications. It's got stop and tailpiece bridge, active EMG 81 volume and a tone. My custom Raglan inlay on the fretboard and the rhinestone headstock the mirror truss rod cover very cool indeed oh wow I am very proud of how this guitar turned out it still looks sounds and plays absolutely amazing <laughs> It is a total shred neck. You can reach all the frets very easily. And I figure for a playing demonstration, a song we can play where I can show you how great this guitar sounds and plays. <laughs> one of my favorite songs by one of my favorite artists, Mr. Marilyn Manson, will do the song Mob Scene. <laughs> Very cool song. I've been a fan of Marilyn Manson for as long as I can remember. <laughs> and uh, after I show you how great this guitar plays and sounds, I'll show you some up close views and show you all the other majorly cool details about this very cool guitar. So, what do you think of this?
Wow, just wanted to give you a brief demonstration of how great this guitar sounds and plays. So wow, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson! Very cool. Yeah. I think this is probably the eighth rhinestone guitar that I've done. And each one of those rhinestones have to be glued or hot fixed by individually so it's like one at a time so the process takes like a very very long time I'll show you I'll share a link in the comments of how exactly I created this guitar from the very start to the very beginning from the very start to the very end very cool let me show you the back Rainbow battery compartment. And as you can see, the plywood that I used, you can start to see some of the seams from, from the wood itself, but that happens over time. And that's okay. It's definitely a learning lesson. But yeah, the back of the neck turned out really cool. I don't know if you can notice, but the headstock is way thick because I uh, etched in the rhinestones. So, very cool. Wow, very beautiful. And that's so cool that the rhinestones stay in place. None have fallen out yet, but they can be replaced. So if any of these rhinestones happen to fall out over time, just get another one and put it in. So it's very cool. I love the sparkle of the rhinestones. And this light, I mean, if you were to have a spotlight on this guitar, like being on stage or something like that, and the spotlight hits, it would completely just, all the different sparkles would completely light up. So, wow. Very cool. I remember it took a long time to do the inlay. Thanks again for watching another episode of Guitar Love. Trying to show you all the angles. Make sure to check out the link in the comments. I see the process of how I created this very cool guitar. And I plan on doing many more rhinestone guitars. And I was thinking about doing some colored rhinestones as well. This is just the clear rhinestones, the silver ones. But you can get them in all different colors. Blue, red, green, yellow. And you can do all kinds of patterns. Very cool. All right. Very cool indeed. And we will see you on the next episode.